I actually set up controls on my controller. We're going to be skipping over the cutscenes pretty much to a one here. Because I'll be playing this game the regular way at some point and, you know, this stuff isn't really super important. It would be nicer to show off more of the game if possible, I guess. I didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm facing away from her completely. Come on, game. That's... That's silly. Alright. Skip ahead. Alright, let's get to the... Let's get to the tutorial, which is... Gonna be completely unrandomized. I actually should probably have just... Oh, never mind. When I said unra... <laughs> Did I leave this randomized? Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Well, at least all of our stuff is asterisk coded, so we are okay there. Oh, look, I think the tornado chip is actually named correctly. This should, uh... We'll take everything, because honestly... Oh, okay, are you gonna be like this? Alright. Huh. That, I didn't realize this was like actually going to care about the positions that these chips are sitting in. We can just let this Met go back and forth and die, because <laughs> this field layout is a little bit on the not good side for anybody involved. Oh. This guy's just lying about what these things do at this point, come on. There we go, that'll, that'll take care of it. Alright, what do you got for us for these 10 ships? Oh. It's all the same shit, okay. I figured. I was hoping to see an instance of like, oh, there's five chips in the folder or something. <laughs> Cause that's not how this game works at all! Which would be very, uh, very amusing. Alright, skip some cutscenes, blah blah blah, hit the start button a bunch more. Oh, I think that was gonna tell me like hash codes and stuff. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got some Raton 1s. 100 damage, that's pretty good. Z and T code might suck. Tornadoes, we've got three of those. Decent, oh yeah, we got our totems, those are good. Bubble side, eh. Although it's Q code to fit with the long sword that is 55 damage long sword, ew. That's Garbo. 95 damage hammer. Uh, that might be okay if we have to hit an enemy that needs breaking damage. 75 damage sword. 55 damage mini bomb. Oh, we got rooks. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> rooks that are listed as base. Oh, boy. <laughs> Only the one healing chip. That's more than we need, honestly. And bone javelins, apparently. As you say, I think that there's supposed to be, uh... I'm gonna talk to the kid, yeah. Well, goody for you, thanks. Thanks, bud. Alright, let's take a look around an actual internet area and get thrown into something that will make us cry in agony, no doubt. Alright, well, there's a reg up one. That reminds me, I should see what I can register right now. We only have five, so not much. 
We can register that, but we don't really want that. It's... That code sucks even for what we've been given from the randomizer so far. Ooh, this is a group that doesn't look great. And especially not when I am playing like trash. Got him. That was a really easy fight. Ooh, a no beam one. X code, however, that is total. Well, maybe good, but from here it doesn't look very impressive, that's for dang sure. I like how you're just over there rating people's handwriting. <laughs> That's pretty great. We're gonna check around and make sure that there aren't any items hanging out over here. Because I don't remember offhand if there's some easy to get stuff at the beginning of the game. I like how the blackboard, this electronic smart board thing, this blackboard still uses chalk, and somebody has jammed some chalk into the jack on the thing, so that's, that's pretty great. Thanks, kids. Oh, we can't go to the rest of the school. Darn. Alright, cutscene successfully skipped. I say as if that would be an actual issue. Oh yeah, these people don't have anything to give me. Alright, let's check out that doghouse. Oh, that sounds good. Mega Nuke version 3. Where is it? Oh, it's not... <laughs> it's just another rook. Okay, well, you know what? Get out of there, recover 10. <laughs> Sheesh. Wow. The wind up on that hammer is pretty garbage. I mean, that, that's always been the case, but still. Wow. Also, wow, this, this is making a lot of noise in the, the mic, apparently. My apologies, maybe my mic is a little closer to my whole everything here today. Right, can we log on to Mill's computer and, I don't know, maybe steal like the one mystery data she probably has, at best? Oh, there's one there. Hey, Mark, how is it going? I hope you're having a decent evening over there. Oh, this looks a little bit... a little bit messy. Oh god, my 
<laughs> my movements are absolutely going a little ridiculous. Thinking about picking up Curse of the Dead Gods. Sounds... Well, as long as it's not a literal thing. <laughs> I do not know offhand what that is. So I will just say I... I hope it is good. Oh, nice. Managed to actually get a counter there. Amazing! Yes, I admit that I'm not going to be explaining a ton about this game. But we will definitely be playing this the regular way at some point on this channel. Assuming I don't die first. Ah, okay, gotcha. Well, again, I hope it's as good as it seems like it is. Get it right in here. Nice! It walked right into the mask and exploded. Press A. That's a, that's a good name for it. <laughs> I am way too amused by that. Aw, oh, we can't pick up the purple yet, because we need an unlocker. We need money for that. I think I doubled back into the lava too, so I definitely got a lot of damage that I took there, that's for sure. Hooray, 50 cents. I'll, I'll take the, the 50 zenny. Can't go through here. Of course, we already knew that though. Who's on the ticket for E3 tomorrow? I don't actually know off the top of my head. Is Nintendo doing something pretty soon? It might be like the day after, because I'm pretty sure they're at the very, very end. I know Square was today, and everybody was absolutely whomping on Square Enix, because they... Well, Square Enix's presentation was unimpressive, to say the least. That new Final Fantasy game, well, that sure looks like a thing that exists, but also, meh. <laughs> Here is Marvel. You like Marvel? Please care about Marvel. Yeah, pretty much. That's it, isn't it? And on top of that, too, it's like, oh, it's Marvel Avengers. Like, Marvel has more going on, I'm sure than just what little Square Enix has out that they can shove in our faces. This... This battle arena looks like hot garbage, by the way. I'm just gonna put this out here right now, because... Oh, gross. My totem got blown up. This is why I should perhaps not have gone with the level of randomization of these fields that I went with. <laughs> because sometimes you just get absolute crap. Alright, please just melt down, buddy. That'll do, that's enough. Also enjoy those hurt beep sets. That's a thing that'll happen quite a bit, probably. That's... Yeah, the mini energy is worth literally 50 HP. Who cares? You'll just chomp that real quick. <laughs> you play Pokemon, you're used to it. Fair enough, fair enough. Or honestly, like most video games, because goodness knows, all of them have a really... Oh, look, that cannon is sitting on a hole. It should not be there. All right, well, B! <laughs> yes! Oh, good. 
<laughs> you got two of them with one B. No, no, not the bees, not the bees. That's a very effective B. Sharknado. <laughs> Fuck off, game. I <laughs> and that is a shield chip in a code that looks like trash. Yeah, we have nothing in I whatsoever to actually make that useful. Classic. Classic this game. This entire series. Not bad. All right, so much like the doggos that we saw earlier, those things bubble shots will hit the panel behind what they hit, so the mask is not a good thing to use there. Also, the game really wants to give me curse shields for some reason, which are all right, but I would rather have something not so reactive, I guess. Ooh, I've got an idea. And it involves me not getting hit by that stupid bird. Well, I mean, for a start, the cannon is going to block the bird, but then I think the shield continues to... Oh, I think it took damage like it was colliding with an object. That is fantastic, if so. <laughs> this, oh, here's a free 200 damage from this thing crashing into your, into your mask. The yeah, for sale. Okay, so I believe that the way these work... Well, first of all, we found out what that Mega Nuke V3 is. It is a Boomerang 2. That's pretty good. And electric type. I don't think we have any electric attacks. So... If I recall correctly, these three first chips are all used for later in the game trades. So they're made available easily in the randomizer, so that way you don't get completely stonewalled. We've got... Oh, we got a beast man. Oh. Oh, I know. I just noticed it's 11,500. Never mind. I should not have gotten psyched about that. Oh, man. Drill man. So good. So good. We have good chips here. I'm actually going to grab all of these right now. And I'll grab an HP memory. That'll give us some more max HP, so we'll be able to get slapped in the face more often. Which is something we're going to have to deal with a lot of that anyway, so... Yeah, fair enough. I should remember that I have to, like, actually check what chips I get from things. Fanfare, an asterisk. That'll actually be Navi plus 20. That's... That's nice. That would go real good with that Beast Man if we could afford it. But unfortunately, ha ha ha. Oh, uh, not quite a double because it was too slow. But good damage. And then a handful of guard. I could have just picked the rat and gotten the kill that way. What am I thinking? Remember to forfeit all mortal possessions to rat, right? Here we go. Oh, that's not very useful. I think. Powers up when allies hit, so that's like you have to take damage for that to actually work. Oh, but we got a we got a, a black bomb one. Yes, that's right. This is a game that has multiple versions of the black bomb. Neutral element damage, but it's 110. So first of all, if we land that hit, that's a lot of 
that's a lot of potential damage out, and even if not, that can cause some issues if the enemy sets it on fire. Or I guess if we smack it with a hammer, which is... I mean, I guess that's one way to increase the range of the hammer. Oh, there's still fire type. Okay. Oh, nice. Plasma coil. It's actually a metagel. Although, fitting name, it's electric damage. T code. I think we can use that. Yeah. We can put that to a decent use there. Oh, God. We can actually register that because it's only two megs. <laughs> nice. We got our early game area grab. Sorry, area grab machine not broken. Okay, in a way. Oh, that was... That did not work. Unfortunately, I am not good enough at this game to pull that kind of stuff off. Hooray, more garbage. That's actually the the exact same thing I see when, say, rather, whenever I, I get a new terrible game. Hooray, more garbage! Stay home. Okay, so that's a repair. That's usable, but I'd rather have it an asterisk. Oh, look, there's our mega nukes again, but in a different code. SDMG. Nice. Rock arm 2. 5700. For Metal Man. Uh, but it's asterisk, so that's nice. I think the sub chip shops. Yeah, the sub chip shops have, like, actual things here, too. 1,200 for a 25 damage Plasma Ball. That, I don't remember if that is Regular Bolt or uh, Lightning or whichever one is used for Master Style, but that doesn't do us a ton of good now. Snake! Except it's a mole. 4,800, oh my god! I want these! I just need to get the money for it. And by these, I mean probably just this. I completely missed the question, yeah. Does a red light mean stop? Yes, that is the answer. Then there's... Like the weird triangle number one, and there's also... Something that I think literally asks if steel is heavier than feathers. If I recall correctly. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a whiff. I should have should have moved earlier, I guess. Because those panels have the damage that the enemy takes from any attack. Yeah! He jumped straight into that boomerang. Oh yes, I appreciate those for sure. I'll take that over. Over the long swords.
Uh, I could have done that better. Oh well. Nice, we got another B. Well, that's not actually what that is, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, it's it's super garbage. Oh boy, this thing. The hang time on that. Airstorm chip, which is listed as recover 200 in here because randomized chip names, is like two seconds or something. It is. It pulls enemies in, but it's a very easy way to get yourself murdered if you use it. Oh, yes, these. These drops from these fights, though, this is this is definitely everything coming up Millhouse a little bit here. Only a little, though. Alright, so we're going to jack out and jack back in. And we are going to use that as a method of getting us some more money. Sorry about the the, uh, the pause there as the window lost focus. And the little bit of cursor on screen. That was just me uh, making sure I could see the whole chat window just in case. Because if notifications come through and the notification box isn't working, I would feel bad. And this is a place where I don't really need that. Oh, there's me completely whiffing with the B. And completely whiffing with the totem. I'm almost feeling like I should try to run here. In fact, yeah, as that... As that shot is clipping right into our face. <laughs> Just say later, nerds. I don't like this fight either. This is not so great. This ACDC Area 1, this first area of the internet, <laughs> absolutely sucks. The second one is better, though, I think. It sure seemed like it was. Oh, we've got some of this going on. This is gonna be... Real funny. Ah, uh, I screwed up the timing. I was hoping to be able to get the rabbit as well, but... No such luck. Go ahead and add those. That works. Here's our false data, let's check the area to make sure I didn't miss any green thingies. Ooh, metal panels, that is unusual. Okay, so I guess these things don't really float, they just act like they do for a second, because that thing is not going back over the hole. Interesting.
There's another green. That's like back up the path. Right. What's our what's our money situation looking like? Obviously nowhere near enough to be able to afford any of the good stuff here, but not quite 3k. Oh boy, sand. And thankfully that bird just walked right into our tornado and we get another B, but that one's in Y code. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I'll have to look at what my folder is looking like. Or this, do we get special text for this? Yes, we do. Didn't remember if I'd ever seen that before. Yeah, that B is literally the only Y code we would have in there. That's not so good. Oh, that was not well played. We are, I was gonna say, we are however safe over here, at least from one of these nerds. And the dog completely dodged our boomerang. That works. As we get almost no money out of it, but we do get a counter attack. Good enough for me. Okay, we should be able to do this now. Just barely got all that damage in. Oh yeah, that's right, Metal Man, for not quite the amount of money that we have. Alright, so every number from 1 to 10 gives 54. This one, these kind of problems, there's an easy way for you to do it, and that is that you get the sum of the first and last number, and then you count up how many pairs there are. So in this case, 1 plus 10 is 11, and there are 5 pairs. So you can do that, and you get to 55, which is definitely not 54. On the other hand, that is still math, but it's fewer steps, so you will lose track of it less easily. Ooh, the... Uh, so the birds are electric element now. Okay, duly noted. It's green Zapdos, everybody.
Well, that works. I think. Neat. Although, yeah, we really did get complete trash for our, our area one here. Ooh. Oof. And it's complete trash that kind of hurts. Oh, have I missed this before? Or did it change colors on me or something? I don't know. Damn it, rat. More of those wind boxes, I really don't need those. I have no idea what that is. For oh, it well, first of all, it's the right chip this time, and second of all, it's just a bubble V. Meh. Meh, I say. Meh. Thirteen fifty. We should be able to pick up that rock arm. Bastard. Uh, we're not in a, we're not in a great place today, are we? Well, that heal definitely helped. I think that's like 120 heal or something. Nice of that earthquake dude to, uh... To make it stop in the middle of the ice. That's a thing that I don't think has ever really come up for me before, so I didn't know that that worked. Neat, though. Great, we got two counters, so we get three bug fragments. Neat. Those will not be important for a while. Alright, cutscene skip. Oh, that automatically logged me out. Well, time to fix that. Before we get into the actual, uh... Before we get into some actual plot. Do we have enough money for that? Yeah, we have... Wow, when did we get that much? That's pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have it in me to grind out enough for that drill man, although, honestly, I probably should, because drill man is super good in this game.
These nerds are pretty easy to avoid. That's one way to get the job done. <laughs> Yay! I'd say, oh no, it's not money, but at this point the money drops are so pathetic that that would change nothing for us. <laughs> uh, plasma coil and a not as good code. Darn. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I have this on, like, absolutely just... <laughs> yeah, I have this on, like, chaos mode or something for code, so we're probably gonna get a lot of ridiculous bullshit at this various points here. Oh, right, I wanted this. I can buy more than one of them if I ever get enough money for that, but that will probably be a bit of a while. Alright, let's pick. Oh, we don't have enough money for that. That's that's right, that's 5,700. Well, we can deal with the rest of that sooner rather than later. Cutscene skip and go back upstairs. take that. I'll take that as well. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't need four poison masks in this folder. Two is more than enough, so we are definitely going to be getting rid of those slowly. Okay, I think the poison goes in a line for this, not an area around. I am an idiot. I forgot how these ships actually work. Okay. Yeah, so wh while the trumpet thing is playing, all other enemies in the field can't take any damage. We're just gonna wait this out. Get out of here. Okay, we have just enough money to go and pick up that other plasma ball. Which at this rate is not going to be something I'm going to really easily be able to show off.
I forget how to manipulate these things' movements. Not quite like that, but we managed to managed to get there in the end. 30 zenny for a busting level of one. I took like a minute on that battle because I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, you. Cough up. That's nice. Oh, make sure we go pick that thing up. This way? Where in this map are we going? Well, first of all, we should come over here and we should get a tiny amount of money. Nice, nice. And again, that B is going to be Y code because that is just what the game feels like throwing at me at this point. Is garbage. Oh, okay, we did get that earlier. I did not realize. I like how they have to actually go in person to chat on the internet. <laughs> oh right, I have to go back home in order to disable the lock. I remember how this works now, kind of. Remember, this is a game series where everything is online, so you can go on the internet and do basically anything you need to, or want to, or that the plot forces you to. I thought that targeted only the panel, but that might be in a different game in this series, because... Yeah, by the way, there were quite a few of these Battle Network games. There were six, I believe, in fact. Oh, we're going to have to get burned in order to do this, aren't we? No, we got this. There we go. Death Spiral, what? The oh, it's a just a 30 damage wood element spreader. It is an asterisk, so that's nice, and it fires very quickly, but I think that's a little bit under the curve for what we have at the moment. Over here. Poke the key thing a little bit, and out we go. 
back into the real world as we go exploring the school at night in order to go find decks a floppy disk or something. Because I don't think that, like, USB drives or anything like that actually exists in this world. This is a little bit before those were a big deal commercially. That was more than eight characters. That's not an item. That's just a thing the game wants us to think is one. Alright. Let's, let's go in here. Okay, so we have to go talk to everybody because they have been hypnotized by Ray Psycho, who we got like a second of a shot there. Oldwood M. Unfortunately, that's not what it's going to be. It is, however, going to be absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I think that those Y codes are going in now. Um, fuck you, tornado. Fuck you, tornado, and fuck you, tornado. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling a little bit like I want the Curse Shields more than... Yeah, at 195 damage return if we pull that off. I want those more than I want the crappy swords. That's not how a swan behaves. It doesn't just spin in a circle. circle. That's not correct either, but... Oh yeah, we have to go get the parasol first. Duh. I'm doing things out of order because I'm skipping over the cutscenes and I've forgotten little bits of this game. And the parasol doesn't exactly have a large hitbox for some reason. this place. The lights are gonna possibly blink on and off. I think that isn't until we turn the light switch on at all, but we may not even have to bother with that, because I think we can actually find the stuff in here just fine. Bats! Oh, hey, a uh, fire V, a uh, heat V, rather. In a chip code that I didn't see what it was, but I assume it's not that good. Alright, cleaner's one. That is gonna be all the way back in... 5A, I think. So not the room where we got the parasol from, but the room where we found Dex being a train. Crud, I was wrong. Alright. Now we get some flashing, sorry. 900 zennies. Is our key data A. That area, that area is blocked off. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's all right. And that is our reward for a counterattack. We go to the other side for, with for a key data A. Oh no, not this garbage. <laughs> I 
I did that a little early, but it still seemed to have worked out. One for all, G. It is a boomerang one. Might be usable depending on the uh yeah, it's 75 and it's null. Fuck that. Actually, why do I even really need to move at this point? This thing is just gonna die on its own. Yeah, so you get busting level bonuses if you move less than a certain number of times in a battle. And that's less than two, so I pretty much just gave away some points there. Oh yes, please keep giving me more of these garbage fights, I love them. Yeah! Oh boy, a chip that was already garbage, but in an even worse code. Another not actually a boomerang. Key data C. Oh. Man, that does not need to be in a code that's not an asterisk. Come on. All right, so we're going to jack out real quick, and I'm going to go back to the other room. Because I forgot that he had to do this, in order to go get that other blue mystery data. That I can see flashing away in the background. Can we skip this? No, we can't. And another regular memory point, that is good. It's small, but it's good. You know, we can't really complain about those. Whoa! Oh, yes! Area grab in asterisk code. Once again, the game is being quite generous right now. I suppose that's to make up for the fact that this whole area is flashing. Or something. Alright, we're gonna put that in, in place of one of the three hammers that we have. Alright, and there's that funky looking red statue, so actually this gets us over here a little bit faster, that's nice. It's a teacher's lounge. Alright, so we're gonna have some more flashing. Again, sorry about this, I can't do anything about it. It's just how the game was designed and it was not a good decision then and it's not a good decision now. Well, there's one of the three passwords. scrub. <laughs> and it's written like that, so it's a reference to uh, Pokemon Coliseum. A lot of the stuff in the randomized names are references. I'm sure that a lot of people have noticed by now all the VTuber names and everything, because... Yeah, they're... Like, it fits, too, in a way, with this, this particular series of Mega Man. Oh, and there's Cannonball L. Might be playable, depending on damage. 180. That seems a little bit small. I'll look at what that is in a second after I'm done with this fight. <laughs> Coin Man Alpha. Well, here's something where we really, really want that... Uh, this thing that I've got here. Because that's going to be our best bet for getting a higher rank, and we still just get a Y-Code Curse Shield. Meh. Password B. 
Alright, that's a, an asterisk code cannon. It's only 35 damage. That is... That is the hottest of hot garbage. Like, sure, it's wood element, but the spreader is better because it fires faster. I mean, sure, it's it's five damage less. Oh no, it's a DPS loss! But... Whatever, I'm, I'm done making that noise because it's a little over the top. And here we get some more of these. And excuse that noise, that was a rather unfortunate yawn. And that was an unfortunate noise in the back of my throat as well, so... Good thing I didn't mention any of them, because that would just draw attention to it. Right, well, there's the password. I bet the other one is a, a security program. Which shows up, like, only in this dungeon for some reason. I don't 100% know why, but here we are. Oh no, it's an HP memory. That's good. That's actually useful. Oh, that doesn't work? Okay. Dick. Well, at bare minimum, I think this counts for a counterattack at least, so. Yeah. <laughs> cheat D. <laughs> and it's a fine one, Chip. It is not a cheat at all. Alright, so before we go onto this yellow platform, let's save. Just in case this boss is total bullshit. Because our bosses are randomized. Apparently not. Did I disable these randomizers or enable them? Now it says allow on the thing, so I... Uh, either way, we are up here against Flashman, version 1 apparently. Oh, he's gonna try to hit us with the spark arm. Just stay off of the ice panels, because that's still an electric attack. Despite the fact that he is weak to whatever element the totem was, I didn't even check. I haven't been paying attention. Hey, we get a grand. Nice. And he explodes on us, and... Yeah, cutscene. Check our email. Oh, Gutsman wants to fight, and by Gutsman I mean Dex, who normally does have Gutsman, but... Could be anything else, or it could just be Gutsman. No, it's gonna be Metal Man. Okay, so Metal Man is definitely not Gutsman, that's for sure. Metal Man might actually be a threat, but that's a big might. And I don't think that that electric element thing actually did double damage on that.
panel. I think that actually ran out before I got hit by that, but it's also very possible that Curse Shield does not work against the missiles either. Is there an attack from above? And you can see Metal Man is not impressive in terms of pattern. It's shoot missiles, right now only three, and then throw a Metal Blade at you, which goes slow as molasses. And oh, we get Flashman in our code. That's that's decent. That's that's pretty playable. But Flashman in general, fire element, 60 damage, hits everything on the field, paralyzes the enemies, ignores mercy invincibility. It is just great, 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 great. And I'm sorry, Hammer, I just don't like you very much. Go around the trees. Yeah, we may as well uh, save between these. I don't know if I'm going to play this the whole way through at any point, but on the other hand, it's a good idea to have those saves just for, you know, safety reasons and all of that. Alright, well, time to go find Dex being at... hanging out at school. On the weekend. Oh, he's got the tension, right. So do I not just have to talk to the kid, I have to actually go talk to... Mail and Yai who are hanging out over there, and then it will be like, Hey, yeah, go find Dex because he lied about being good. It sucks a lot. I'll just. Right. Hey, you. Skip cutscene. Alright, let's see what you've got. You have a slightly higher level Metal Man. Nothing to be impressed with here. However, Metal Man does bust out a new move in this case, and that is the punch you in the face move. That's what Metal Man's Navi Chip does. We don't have to win this fight, by the way. It is not actually a necessity. So quite frankly, I may be putting in too much effort here. Right, remember how the thing works, jackass. And there's four. Okay, so I think the elements are further randomized from what they say on the icon. Because, yeah, um, interesting. I clearly have used this incorrectly. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I was stuck there. That was great. I. <laughs> All right, so let's go and. Head to Scilab, find out if we can figure out anything that's wrong with this, with our pet. But if not, let's also just go check out the subship merchant. What else do you got? Some Zero Zenny Asterisk Code Mini Bombs. Uh, I don't really like those very much, but why not?
I'm trying to go in the door frame. There we go. The old hidden jack in point. Whoop. What do you got for us? Got something it claims to be getting to, but is actually completely name unrandomized. Awesome. I. Okay. Okay. Well, that's one way to, I guess, manipulate that enemy. I don't 100% know how to do it, so... If it ends up working, it ends up working. Alright, so over here, I believe this is where we're going to be using a little bit of save stating here. Again, this is mostly just to show this off, so... You know, I'll, I'll do a little bit of this, even though it's like, hey, you shouldn't do that, it's cheating. Alright, so we're going to use this in order to, uh, you know, make sure that we get all the money out of this. And if I recall correctly, these numbers are determined when you hit OK to, to start the next one, or in this case, yes. Alright, so let's make sure that that's, yeah, Shift F1. Don't click out of the window. Alright, so we got a chip and we got 6400 out of what would, you know, that's just to cut out all of the, the reset spamming. And that is still a prism, interesting. I did not know that those were unchanged. Maybe certain events just cannot be modified very easily by the randomizer. The code is different though, so it's not completely vanilla, just partially. All right, so that's a backup. And let's... Okay, there's a purple data in there. That might just be money or something. What do we got here? 1,500, okay. And we've got some really not so great enemies here. This is not a set of bows I would like to see most of the time. That might be a little early. Yeah, that was that was quite early, and I don't know if that even counted as a hit or something. Yeah, those fire guys hurt a lot, and there is our Guts Impact, I think. I don't know how to do the command code, I don't even remember what it is offhand. I'm not that good at this game. Alright, here's this jerk. Alright, so to get to where we're going, we have to go through the ACDC internet. 
Let me check my key items real quick. See where I can log in anyway. It looks like just Yai's computer, but we haven't gotten stuff out of Dex's uh, machinery here. I think there's something else in here that you can jack into other than just his computer. Maybe that's not until much later. But for now, the computer, that's, that's something at least. going all right so far uh, the, it seemed for a second like we were not getting certain things randomized but I think that was just weird uh, luck that we ended up with things that were very similar to vanilla in a couple of places because that seems to have not borne out past that one point or so technology is weird and I mean this game I always find this game fun And we have a field that's not so great right now, but... Oh nice, we got both of them with one B. Unfortunately, there is that gap once it hits the enemy area before it starts turning to prevent you from getting that double delete like that. That's unfortunate. And yeah, we can't, can't do that. Can't take the shortcut. We can go to Yai's house at least, which is a little closer. Plus, she has a bone or something we can jack into, right? We can jack into this right now. Yes. Yes. I'll have to find out if that's actually the repair that the game wants me to believe it is. You'll notice a little pause while I try to figure out what it was. Yes, it is, but it's also an asterisk coach, so that is going to come in handy for a lot of battles. If the going gets too tough in certain areas, we can just pull that out and our woes will be over. As long as we can register it, which it's 15 megs, which is kind of a lot. That's more than we have right now for sure. Less nice is that I screwed up the timing on that pretty badly. B. Easy fix to most problems. Just apply bees. Don't don't necessarily actually do that. That's pretty much the whole point of those old Dr. Bees videos. That is a very old thing in terms of internet stuff. And I am screwing this whole fight up pretty badly. This is what you might call not my finest hour. Oh, what was that? Also, yeah, the, the shrimp's bubbles do remove lava panels that they go over. Ow. Ah. 
Right, there's the thing I was looking for. Let's let's go pick that up real quick. Yeah, I pulled that up way too early. Again, did that pretty early. Pick the item up. It's reg up two. Nice. All of those rattling buttons, they are always a fun time. I'm sure that nobody in here is irritated by that. Okay, so I have enough that I can get this, but it is an X code, so that's like all I would be able to do for that turn. Um, that. Yeah, we're actually gonna pick that up, even though it's not the most usable thing in the world. And we'll get us some more health, because that doesn't really hurt. Yay, a thing we don't need. Okay, I want to take a look at... Well, we can't... We can't mark that yet. That's unfortunate. Uh, we can't mark the area grab yet either, but we can start always with one of our plasma balls. So that is a nice thing to have. Is that still a Gen 2 despite... It is not. It is a really garbage single bomb. That is a very unimpressive chip to be picking up at any point. <laughs> Thanks a lot, game. That means a lot to me. Oh, wait. That, I was going to say, assuming that data is correct, yeah, it's a V-code spreader. Who cares?
Don't even know if I can actually like do PAs. Do we have a, we do not have a full library. I, I didn't think so, but I wanted to see. Did we see a, I don't remember seeing that before. But yeah, and here we can take a look at stuff we've gotten so far and, and see how spread out all of it is. And be like, hey, these names are questionable at best. And you're not necessarily wrong, are you? No, oh, indeed. There's another two regular memory for us. We are getting ever closer to being able to just mark Beast Man and be able to absolutely cause a complete mess in any encounter we ever get into, basically. That kind of hurt. That was unfortunate, but that encounter setup is a little bit janky anyway. Alright, so let's go in here. Let's check out the shops before we start doing plot stuff, because I want to know what I can get once I have money. Only 2,000 for Snake. That is not bad. Unfortunately, it's T, which doesn't go with our W code Geddon. Magnum, that's got to be Magnum 3 at that price. 12.5, ouch. Shake 2, you can do some interesting glitches with the shake codes, so that might be something to look forward to, but... I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. Let's save first, because we don't know what these are going to be like, and I think that you can die in these. I could be wrong. Hope I'm wrong. Oh, are these enemies not going to take any damage from the lava panels, any of them? Are they, like, all fire element or something? Fire element penguin, okay. Cedra, yeah, there we go. There's our one of these jackasses. Fortunately, because the bugs move the way they do, they are a complete pain in the butt to actually. Uh, set up easy kills with our plasma orb. Alright, get to the back. Pretty good! I think our base damage on that is 55. So we at least managed to add some hits on there. Uh, a little trick for anybody who has played these games but isn't, like, super in the know is that with Beast Man, you can mash A and B back and forth, and it will increase the damage while he's, uh, once you activate him and once he's, uh, flying down the rows. Or at least once he pops up on screen. I forget the exact exacts, but that was pretty solid. All right, so we get to go beat somebody up, apparently. Uh, let's check that number again. Yeah, 55, and we didn't proc weaknesses, so... Uh, 165, it has 185. We at least got a little bit of extra damage on there. Hey, nice. That is one of the needler chips. I don't remember which one. It might be... Might even be the, the first tier, or last tier, rather. 
We don't need a hammer right now, but we may want that later. Well, that claims to be Guts Punch Star. That is Team 2 V, which is instead Lance V. 145 damage to the entire back row, like, immediately. That is a nice pull. 1500. As much as Beastman is really cool, the simple solution is better here. Drop Plasma Ball, let things happen. Steal some zone. Nice. Not quite an actual triple, but pretty solid. And Curse Shield in Q. Well, great. So, I don't remember if we fight this dude here. Let's go ahead and save anyway. Oh no, he just warps off to some other location in the area. I think he's either on the... I think he's on the bottom floor. I clearly should have actually looked at that, but... Too late now. Alright, set up our Needler. And just let it get broken in half immediately by the charging thing. We are getting our asses handed to us here right now. Playing that pretty badly, but... Managed to turn it around. Got a counter. Got a tiny pittance of money. Nice! That's our first triple of the game. And we get yet another code of B. The R code, I think, has been pretty okay to us, so we might end up using that particular wasp for, you know, in case we really decide we need that, but I don't 100% know if that is going to be the case. Okay, I was about to say, is that rat just completely screwed? It is not, and we are having a really shitty time right now. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. And that's why we saved recently, because sometimes you just end up in a really terrible setup and you think, oh, I I can make this work, and then the game doesn't act the way you want it to. Yeah, we'll take 50 damage here. And that will fail. And we'll start in with this shit again. And... Sheesh. Game, do you want to give me some recovery, please? Because you can get after battle recovery as an item sometimes instead of money or anything if you're in bad enough shape. Go ahead, let's save now that we're in this area, just because I'm going to keep dealing with this for now. Yeah, especially if we get encounters like this, having only 40 HP is not a huge detriment to us. Granted, what is, is the... It's going to say the lack of chips that we can use to deal with this easily, and then I realized, oh right, just throw a B at your problems. T code, no beam. We don't really have the setup to do stuff with obstacles for that, to make that a useful choice right now.
Ow! Fuck, man! I got completely shut out there. That was not great. But I can see where we need to go. It is around this way. Oh boy, this encounter. Let's just leave. No, apparently we can't. Fine game, I'm not happy about that. That's high. If I could just not get into a fight before I get over there. I didn't even see if this is actually our, our bubble V here. Yeah, it is. 45 damage, who cares? That's. That's not worth using right now. Okay. So we got our bats on the go. Let's just hit the A button. Easy. And we get a garbage ship. Useful. All right, save. This is where I actually fight the dude. Oh, thank goodness we get healed for it. As we've got some coin mans. Coin men? I'm going with coin mans because I feel like that is not the correct nomenclature whatsoever, but here we are. Alright. Well, we can deal with this one very easily. I don't think that's fast enough to constitute a counter. Yeah, and of course, since we were in the middle when we got hit, uh, when we almost got hit by that cannonball, rather, we had to go around the outside and just keep jumping between poison panels for a bit. And by for a bit, I mean forever. All right, well, thanks, buddy. I am just going to jack out and jack back in in order to get over there. Let's take a check around, make sure there are no other, uh, that nobody's selling, like, sub chips or anything over here. I think Yai's computer is pretty close to where we need to be in order to fight this dude. It's perfectly fine. RPGs can be a very, very difficult thing for a lot of people because there is a lot of like, not much going on sometimes. And, you know, that's not even getting into are you even interested in what does go on of an issue, but... You know, I... I don't know what else I was going to say here, but... The idea is I, I understand that it's not really an easy genre for a lot of people. This is the dude we want to fight. Three round survival. I think this dude will just tell us to do better if we fail, but just in case, we are going to save and see what we've got going on here. We've got, oh, we've got a really shit battle in front of us right now. Because that mole has to be attacked with things that go downward, which is like 0% of our folder. The rats might be able to do it, I don't know. Or we can go around or even through it when it comes around to hit us. Which, it's just going a little bit ape over here in terms of that. That's, that's quite unnecessary. I'm actually curious about something. Let's, let's sit here in the middle. All right. So do you go down the road behind you? Yes! Hell yeah! That was smart on my part. I want... I don't actually want anything for that, but that was still a fairly intelligent use of my resources. That... 
That speaks of planning or something, I don't know. Ball and go. And speaking of going, we now have to hoof it back to where we came in from. And that's why you want to do what I did earlier of jacking out Jack in at Yai's computer. It also helps if you remember which way to go. And yeah, special dialogue for running away here because Mega Man is on his own. That's pretty neat. I I appreciate the attention to detail in this game a lot of the time. All right. So yeah, here's. All right, we just flop, save, do this. I think what's going to end up happening in terms of how things will go here is we'll probably be able to get through the entire Beast Man scenario and hopefully have to fight a different boss because. Beastman is not really a fun fight to deal with. Alright, Subchip Salesman, what do you got for us? You've got getting to A at 6,900, nice. Rock Cube Y at 700 for a 95 damage stun and earthquake chip. That's pretty decent. A dash attack, that's useless. Copy damage is Timpany D. What is the price on this? 7600 I'm not spending all my money on that. Fuck you, dude. I mean, it's a good enough chip. Oh, this is funny. This is something we can't even use. Uh, Timpani is a pretty good chip. It's a little on the underrated side, but we're not in a position where like doing that is really that useful. Anyway, I think we can skip basically this entire scenario by going around the back area of something and being able to see where the... Uh, seeing a fence, if I recall where this goes. Or is this a talk to everybody situation? I am going to attempt to just talk to everybody, because, yeah. I feel like, can we not actually get to that area? I think that's behind the, uh... Yeah, that's behind the bath area, so we can't actually get over there yet. That's a very, very old looking uh, CRT there. Oh, and look at this poster. We've got a, a Proto Man and Mega Man poster here. Neat. Oh, right, we have to go through here. And you just check this. And that skips ahead to the cutscene. Alright, we should check that, and yeah. Alright, so we have to do the tutorial for this. Unfortunately, there's not really much we can do about this. But whatever. Uh, basically, these smooth programs have to go on that line. The rough programs should not touch it. And programs of the same color should not touch each other. Simple rule. Also, those little indicators by your style name will tell you 
what colors of programs you're able to use. And of course, yes, this is a problem if you have like certain types of color blindness, I'm pretty sure. But hey, welcome to... Welcome to like every video game having that type of issue. Uh, what's your email? Not useful. I see subshipment is gone. That's strange. All right, let's skip ahead. Can we? Yeah, we can jack into the ticket kiosk. Nice. We can go get some stuff, and that'll be nice. Yeah, uh, color blindness accessibility. Like once it was really pointed out to me how bad it actually was, because of course I didn't really think about that. You know, it's... <laughs> I really did start to, to key into, like, how absolutely awful it is with a lot of just everything. Because, wow, it's... You know, apparently a lot of anyone just doesn't notice that sort of thing. Which, I mean, clearly... I didn't notice it before until... Until then, so... I, you know, hesitate to say that... <sighs> also, yeah, these enemies are supposed to be fire type, but they're not. Um, basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say, if I can put my words together properly, and not sound like a smug jackass of like, oh, well, if I didn't realize or anything, but basically just that I feel like I'm not entirely, you know, it's not unusual and I get that it can be easy to not think of if you have proper color vision. Well, you know, it, it... Again, that sounds kind of bad, too, but... But what I'm trying to say, you know... <sighs> oh, neat, we got a chip that is probably not going to be useful, but... Yeah, it's one of those for some reason. Okay. Uh, sure game. So yeah, um, it is definitely an issue. It is something that I am noticing more often with a lot of game design over the last several years. And it's something that I would really like to see. Like I've discussed before that I would like to see this game I've said before that I would like to see this game being uh, re-released or remastered in some way, but obviously that would be something that I would think that should be fixed in some way because that's not so great. And every time I I see it in a game where things are differentiated only by color, I'm just like, oh no, that's an issue. And yeah, that's... That I really did not know about, because that's not a thing that I follow very much, but I'm glad that that is helping in any way if it is, because, you know, obviously. Hey, did we check all the... I think we have to check all of the things to see that all this is going on. Yeah, the, the elephant. Have we checked all the, the animals? Do we have to...
Let's see, we check both sides of the line things. Some neck you've got. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say there. Oh, this one's funny, although we're gonna skip out on the text. My boyfriend's right late. My girlfriend's late. They're on opposite sides of the statue. <laughs> right, I think I've checked all of the... Thing. And yeah, we can't leave yet. Talk to these goofuses. We talk to those. It's gonna say, can we find the kid's coin? Talk to the sign, I guess. There we go. I guess we didn't check one thing or another or something and this took a bit. Oh yeah, skip the cutscene. Right, 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 right. So now we've got a bit of a maze situation going on here where don't get near the animals because they're all a little bit angry at you and you'll be turned away. As they're all just standing in place very angrily. The emergency exit has been broken down, so we sneak out. Not much going on over there. And keep going. Don't step in the elephant turds. Right, Subchip guy does have the same items as usual. And by as usual, I mean as before. I don't know why he just wasn't there. Rescue the little gremlin, I guess. And we can go back around this way. And we go over here. And we do this dungeon, which is a little bit on the weird side. Also, for some reason, the animals all have, like, mind control chips in them. Yeah, so the the plot here is that all the animals break out of their cages at the zoo, and that's... That's what happens, I guess, is just you end up with a lion out of its cage in the middle of the zoo. Hey, I didn't write these games. I won't lie, they are incredibly silly. And by incredibly silly, I mean probably something else, but... Hey, there's... There's our snake, not... Not that kind of snake, not solid snake in this case. Alright, so in this case we need to go back and get the cat. Because this is like, hey, find matching pairs between 
the programs that will destroy the viruses, and a lot of them do get a little bit on the bizarre side very soon. Uh, really, this this jerk penguin decided to not actually. That's unfortunate. Hmm? We'll handle that the way we handle a lot of our problems in life, with bees. An Internet of Things... Yeah, basically, like, bizarrely for this game, well, rather, this whole game series starting to come out in 2001, it really did kind of predict that there would be a massive flood of Internet of Things devices, and the many weird issues that that would cause. I'm, I'm kind of impressed by it for that reason, but then there's other moments where the writing is, well... not always good. Alright, so this, we take the snake here. There's a lot of things that we could probably use to get rid of a frog, but... In this case, the snake and frog pairing is a big thing... ...in, uh... I'll read that in a second. The snake and frog pairing is a thing in Japan regularly that... ...comes up very specifically in this series more than once. <laughs> a game where app-controlled sex toys are taken over by these viruses when... I... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised if that doesn't ex- well, okay, not fan game, but I'd be surprised if there wasn't, like, some sort of fan fiction or something of that sort already, or, like, somebody didn't draw a, a Dojin comic or something. Because... Honestly, you're not wrong that that's a great, with an asterisk, idea. That is true. You, you are 100% correct about that. I've... I actually think that I heard that again recently, too, so... But no, 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 This is. <laughs> if I was not just speeding through this, the whole. This dungeon actually gets pretty hilarious. We just overfed a gorilla a banana that was going banana, no, 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 And a sea lion going ook, ook, ook. Okay, sure. I haven't seen a sea lion in a bit, but. I'm pretty sure that a, the sound a sea lion actually makes is, but not all men, right? Why are you... Oh. Um, I should check what I have to actually get through here. A clam. Yeah, okay. An otter can deal with that, obviously. A huge tree. Okay, so, um, fire? No, 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 it's... It's the beaver virus. <laughs> Wait, no, beaver program, pardon me. Beaver virus, that's a little closer to what Mark was talking about. Wait. Ah, oh, that joke is even worse than any of my usual jokes. In <laughs> uh, never mind, never mind. You... <laughs> You didn't hear anything. I'm not going to get banned for this. Come on. Actually, that said, I've, I've definitely said worse on this channel before, and I haven't been banned yet. In fact, years ago when it came out, I played uh, Fate slash Xtella, and I was saying the whole time, like, I'm surprised I'm not getting banned for this. And, you know, I... Honestly, I suspect that it's actually fairly hard to get banned from Twitch. 
Unless you're doing very specific things. Also, when you're confused, in this game it seems to scramble your controls entirely because... No, wait, no, I was going backwards there, but... Yeah, see, it's just absolutely messing up my controls if only I had an input display, but I was pressing down there and I went left. <laughs> well, if I had, like, a decent webcam, <laughs> I don't think I would go that far. Um, anyway... Uh... <laughs> Congratulations, you've made me forget what I was actually going to say. That's... I'm not sure that that's a real achievement, but also... Wow. <laughs> what do we got here? Two pandas. One's hungry, one's bored. So first we want the bamboo. And then the tire should hopefully do it. Yep. Played so much with the tire it exploded. I mean, I guess if it's a bored panda, it's it's that, or... Again, these, these games are for a, a youngish audience, so I guess you can't really get away with it being a pornography virus. Wait a second. <laughs> God, referencing that, that is like... That has got to be like 20 years ago at this point, that there were zoos trying to show... That there were zoos trying to show pornography to pandas in order to try and get them to breed. I've, I'm sure this is a thing that people remember. Maybe not. All right, so this thing is looking for a snake, but maybe it's a different kind of snake specifically because it's a mongoose. If not, I know that we need the, there we go, the cobra. That should handle it. You're content not knowing more. You know, that is very reasonable. So, yeah. <laughs> A jar virus that's looking unsatisfied. That we have to give an octopus to put inside of it to break. This... This is a whole weird thing going on, isn't it? Is this the last area? Yes, this is the last zone. Then again, the jar also says jar, jar, jar. That... This whole game is really weird. That's all I can say. Ah, uh, video games. Sometimes you're not sure why you like them, and then... Monkey and a peanut. Parrot. Well, I'm pretty sure that to deal with the parrot, we want to put another parrot in front of there. Oh no, it's it's a tongue twister. Because then it's like a mirror in, you know, the infinite reflections. <laughs> the parrot bit itself while speaking. <laughs> Alright, so to deal with the monkey and the peanut. Uh chestnut. Walnut. And I think that should make the monkey have decision paralysis or something. Actually, it's a peanut. Shouldn't we be taking a walnut and a pineapple smell? Wait, no, that's... Ah, uh, yeah. Imagine me not trying to make DK rap jokes on the regular. I have a problem. And I don't know why I'm saving just yet. All right, cat, lion, wool, lamb. <laughs> you 
<laughs> and yeah, I don't know if we've seen this Goofus's meteor attacks yet, but there they go. They are not aimed whatsoever. They are just completely random. Right, a lion. There's already a lion in there. Right, tiger. Cat. No, that's a little generic. Over here. Dog. That. That I think comes in later, maybe. Uh, I don't remember offhand now. Nice. We got the counter attack, I think, on the bird. But I could be wrong about that. Pheasant. Sheep. And I think the dog is what we want here, right? Yep, that works. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, so right here we are about to face another boss. Hey, look, it's the it's the thing we've been using. What are we against? Oh, Jesus, that fucking name. Why would you do that? And f speaking of things, why would you do them? Why did I choose this attack order? I, I am a complete rube, apparently. So anyway, the trick to deal with this guy Thankfully, they gave us an arena layout that doesn't completely suck butt for it. You stay in the middle of your... Well, you just let Beastman get electrocuted a billion times, I guess. But, the trick to dealing with Beastman, you stay in the middle and you respond to the movements. Mash pause if you have to in order to... Uh, make sure you don't see what it... Uh, in order to get a better handle on what's going on, but it's a lot less scary than it looks. Alright, so let's go talk to everybody here who is a major NPC. And let's get email. Oh, it's the big fucking nerd. means we had access to some pretty nice stuff here so let's talk to the old sicko real quick <laughs> as everybody starts copying mr. Higsby's uh, vocal ticket he's just like please don't <laughs> why am I being subjected to this Anyway, we can jack into this cardboard sign because welcome to Battle Network. Literally everything is online. You are not wrong about that or something. And we can find the same garbage encounters we find everywhere. So, all right, real quick, I am going to go and pop open a list of things for that light bulb headed machine there. So please excuse the silence on this end of the game. And please excuse any keyboard noises you hear. I am going to roll that down here. Okay.
Oh wait, no, that's the that's the wrong one. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, so that's those we're going to check out in a moment. All right. Here's our passcodes. And now we get things out of this by entering in some numbers. I oh, know that's the other way around. Actually, I should probably restrict this mostly to, like, the battleships and stuff and see if any of those are randomized into something fun. Because I see what time it is. And this may not be a run-through that we, uh, complete elsewise. Hmm. 85 damage across all three rows. That's decent. Get. <laughs> and it's a, uh, it's the other mask, the one that I was thinking of earlier. Oh, neat. Muramasa. In V code, we've gotten a decent amount of V stuff, I think, so that's pretty cool. That's very much not fire plus 30. It is, however, a Y code, so we can actually put that to good use. Interesting, because that's actually one of the things you can get from that normally. Another chip just called Press A. The Yo-Yo 2, that's not bad. Yes. I mean, that's all right, really. Zero, zero. Nine. Eight. Two. Six. Three. Godstone. Q code is not my favorite thing to see there, but okay. Five, four, nine, seven, eight, one, two. Anubis. That's pretty solid. I hope I can actually use that properly. Because I forget if this is the game where they changed it so that way you have to fulfill certain conditions to be able to use it or not. They did that eventually, and that is very annoying, because that ship is very, very good. Oh, nice. Rock Arm 1 Asterisk. That's pretty solid. Condor. Oh, only 130 damage. That is underwhelming. That's rolled pretty low, I think. Four, three, nine, zero, eight, zero, five. Neat. That is uh, Yamato Man, or Japan Man, as they translated him as for some reason. <laughs> Thanks a fucking lot, translators. That makes total sense. Three, nine, nine. Seven. Neat. And five, 
And we have one more left here in terms of chips. And there's one more program that I will grab after that in a second. And hopefully I'll actually be able to use it. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, kick me. That's how I feel getting it. one of those chips. It's right in the face. Realizing how a lot of these chip names and stuff on this list that I'm looking at are localized differently from what the game actually has. This must be from something that was put up on game FAQs back when the game was still only in Japanese. I'm kind of surprised that any of those are accurate. And we can we can just barely use that fast gauge. We can we're going to have to do a little bit of a rearrangement I think to use everything, but uh not bad. Okay. So after that, here comes the part. Let me make sure that I have my controls on this correct. Hold select, put in the correct things. We are going to drop a quick save here. And we're going to do this. B, down, A, R, left, R. Oh, hey, that shrank it down correctly. Neat. Look at this completely fucked up seven for the HP plus 100. Jeez. All right, charge is just a one, uh, one spot. That's fine. All right, run it, and we are good to go here. So now we have our custom gauge moving at double speed, and all that took was me looking up a bunch of shit on uh, game FAQs. So, hey. Alright, so we want to go around to Scilab and access the square in order to do this and take the, the digital train to get to the... <laughs> I like how there's just a... A train system on the internet, too. That's pretty great. Alright, real quick, did you have anything worth buying? Well, we only have 10 grand, so we can't even pick up the... Oh, well, we can buy some HP, at least. Invis is actually snakes, yeah. Can't even buy the Magnum, so forget it. deal with this lineup of enemies. This is terrible. Okay, maybe not in this area, but that's okay. It's good to check.
Hope you all like that noise. It's going to come up every time that attack does. And actually, before we uh, continue with the plot, and by before we continue with the plot, I mean I think this is probably going to end up being the last thing that we do tonight. Is, let's just go ahead and, well, we'll get into a, a wild encounter here before what I wanted to do. We're going to go over here and we're going to fight version 2 of Flashman. This guy has like no HP. I feel like making this the last thing I do doesn't seem right. Yeah, especially when we pretty much completely destroyed him instantly. <laughs> well, okay. The game decided to give me this boss with no HP, so... I guess... That was way easier than, it, than I was expecting it to. Then again, I usually fight him way earlier in the game anyway, too, so... Meh. Actually, I know what else we can do here. Uh, well, first of all, we can run from this fight. There is actually an optional fight that we did completely skip over for some reason. I don't know why, probably just because I forgot about it in the whole uh, sweep of doing everything else. But we can go see if somebody else has a more threatening randomized boss for us. This is a person out in the actual world, so... If we lose this fight, oh, it's it's just guts, man. However, we do have a gear in the middle of our our arena here. And we got off the middle, so we are going to be sitting here taking a metric crap ton of damage. Until we get lined up for a B. Oh hey, there's a a different level of beast man at Asterisk Code. Not as much damage, but also costs a lot more to register. Speaking of which, let's do that and we will We'll put this in here. We'll take that out, because that's not so great. Save, do you have a do you have another tier here? Not yet. There's actually not a ton of people that you can just go walk up to and challenge to battles in this game, which is one thing that I feel is kind of a shame. I'd like to see more of that, but meh. If the game doesn't feel like letting us have that, okay. I guess we can't do much about that. Anyway, we'll jack in over here and we will, to actually wrap things up, there is another boss around here that we can go fight. We can go fight what is usually the alpha version of Beast Man. Beast Man, who I believe was unrandomized in the, in the story, aside from a name that was not so good. So I think this is where the fight happens. No, it is not. It might even be on the ground floor, too. So that's a thing to consider. We're going to have to sweep basically this entire area as I look in all of the little side pockets there.
I like that the randomizer changed the meteor guy's names to Kakuna. Thank you very much, video game. Jack out, jack in. Because this guy is around here somewhere, I just don't remember where. Oh, I wish that that was what that actually was. It's instead going to be a barrier. An M code. One of the great things about barrier is that it is usually asterisk. So, that block a single hit for free thing is pretty good in the regular game. Here we go, here's the fight here. Named after Duke Fish Run, apparently. How do you like that, buddy? Unfortunately, he does not seem to care too much about that because we activated it while he was off the field. Also, he's grass type. That is slightly irritating. Don't move back unless he's actually going to attack you. Come on. I, I explained this earlier, and I need to remember to pay more attention to my own rules here. Unfortunately, I don't think I really have stuff that's good at fighting this dude at all, so... Yeah, landing the hit with the bees is not really a very easy thing to do. Because he will pointedly avoid whatever row you're in, so... Then we can do this and just block him out of everything else. So, there we go, a fight with some actual teeth, the, which is like multiple jokes. I mean, granted, still a 50 second fight, and we still survived it, but... That was one that I didn't really have great resources to deal with, and out of it we get Desert Man's Chip, which is not really such a... Not such an interesting one. So, I think that I'm going to wrap this up here. This is definitely something I will come back to, if only in my spare time. I really like this. I like the amount of customization you can do. All of the names and stuff, I just use default names. Uh, but all of them are in a text file. So you can actually go into those and you can edit them and you know change what you get out of it for the randomized names and stuff. So that's actually kind of cool that they aren't just hard-coded. And... Otherwise, the randomizer is pretty interesting. We got some very, unfortunately, vanilla results, and the thing with the elements is kind of confusing because they display things that are not necessarily true, which is a bit of a problem for being able to just, you know, be able to hash things out a little bit, with very, very few exceptions. But otherwise, pretty cool.